creating features with extrude here we have four different basic uh, items that we're going to use uh, and uh, the first one you know we just have basically a slot in this one right here the red one and we're going to just extrude that and create that slot over here we have a t-slot uh, used like in a milling machine and uh, so we're going to just extrude that and we'll get that t-slot formed down here we have a keyway and this keyway uh, we're going to have to create a region because this was created with 2D geometry using the trim command. And if I extrude it right now the way it is, it'll become surfaces. So we'll turn it into a region, and then it'll, and when we extrude it, it'll come into a, uh, a solid at that time. Over here we have um, uh, an object here, um, and what we want to do is turn this into a region. Then we're able to uh, subtract these five holes out of there. So let's go up and, and let's grab the, the extrude command. We're going to pick on this one here and we're going to go let's say with a height of say two. Boom. And let's do extrude over here. Enter. And go a height of two as well. And now down here we're going to have to do a region. Now I can type it in. Uh, that's one way. I'll select all the objects and I'll create a region out of that and now I'm going to go up and I'm going to extrude that and I'll go up here a height of two and over here I'm going to do a region but I'm going to come up here and hit the down arrow I'm going to go over and pick region from my drop down and my draw panel I'm going to select everything I'll hit enter and now those circles are in there okay um, they're a little iffy type thing but let's extrude them I'm going to select everything to extrude you can see the circles I hit enter and I'm going to go up by two now if I come in here you'll see there's the circle let's do a subtraction come over here and we'll pick on the big big positive mass first and then we'll pick on our circle and we'll hit enter and voila we're going to do that operation four more times essentially and I'll grab my circle and bang and I'll grab the big positive mass there's negative mass I'll grab the big positive mass first and I'll hit the negative mass and Oop, uh, hang on here and I'll do extrude whoops sorry uh, subtraction I'll pick the positive mass first and we'll find that circle in here there it is and voila and now I do it some tilting here and there's my extruded objects um, that we created features with these extruded objects. Oh, one thing I like to do is verify that they're solid. So what I'll do is I'll type in the word list and I'm going to come over here and you'll notice a 3D solid. That's a good sign that didn't turn into a surface. Alright, and I can come over here and say is it a 3D solid? Yes, those are good things. Alright, so creating features with extrude.